West will not be able to shoot down Russian missiles over Ukraine, the reasons were announced. According to Ukrainian military analyst Alexander Kovalenko, Western partners will most likely not dare to shoot down Russian missiles in the sky over Ukraine. As for the possibility of shooting down Russian missiles on the territory of Ukraine by our allies, I am not optimistic about this topic. I do not see the prospect of implementing such a scenario unless Ukraine joins NATO, Kovalenko stressed. According to him, it will be technically challenging for NATO countries to find justification for shooting down Russian missiles in the sky over Ukraine, which is not yet a member of NATO. The expert noted that a situation might arise when allies will shoot down Ukrainian air defense missiles if they try to neutralize Russian missiles. As Kovalenko stated, synchronizing the Ukrainian air defense system with allies to shoot down Russian missiles is a challenging technical task. Why will it be technically challenging for partners to shoot down Russian missiles in the sky over Ukraine? Technically, it is very difficult to organize the shooting down of Russian missiles by our allies over the territory of Ukraine. For example, in the direction of Lviv, the Russians launched an KH-101 missile and to intercept it, the armed forces of Ukraine sent a Buck air defense system. Our air defense systems can intercept this missile, but it is also seen by Polish air defense systems. Therefore, coordination of actions, compatibility and synchronization of systems is almost impossible. Such a situation may arise that a Polish anti-aircraft missile system will shoot down ours and a Russian missile will hit where it was headed. This is the main problem of the shooting down of Russian missiles by our allies, the analyst explains. Operators of the Special Operations Forces, during aerial reconnaissance in one of the operational directions, discovered the location of the Russian mobile radar station, Kasta 2E2. The target was struck by one of the newest developments. It is noted that this radar model is considered an ultra-modern weapon, which is designed to control airspace, determine coordinates and recognize air targets, including those flying at ultra-low altitudes. The Kasta radar was first detected on the territory of Ukraine in 2021 in the occupied Luhansk region. Then the Russians brought equipment to counter-attack UAVs. However, ironically, recently the vehicles of the enemy station became the target of attack drones of the Special Operations Forces, the military informed. In February of this year operators of the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine destroyed the Russian Kasta, 2E2 radar on the border with the Russian Federation. On February 13, 2024, Special Forces of the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine's Husey 9 group struck a Russian radar station near the Russian-Ukrainian border. Given the interface of the loitering munition, a Polish-made Warmate 3.0 unmanned system was used to launch the strike. Kasta 2E2 radar may detect of a wide range of air targets. Used in systems of air and coastal defense, border control, air traffic, and airspace control around airports. The radar is characterized by increased detection capabilities for low-flying air targets. Casta 2E2 Low Altitude 3D Omnidirectional Standby Radar is designed for air traffic control, determination of distances, azimuths, flight altitudes, and other traffic information of air objects, such as fixed and rotary-winged aircraft, remotely controlled aerial vehicles, and cruise missiles, including those flying at low and extremely low altitudes amidst bottom bounce, clutter environment, and hydrometeorological formations. The complete system consists of an electronic vehicle, an antenna vehicle, and a vehicle for electrical aggregates. Operator workstations, accessories, and spare parts are located in two single-axle trailers. A remote operator station can operate up to 300 meters from the system. This advanced radar, with a range of 5 to 150 kilometers and a 360-degree azimuth angle, provides comprehensive surveillance capability up to an altitude of 6 kilometers, with scanning intervals of 6 or 12 seconds, making aerial surveillance more efficient and precise. 